Hello, the PDF toolbox is enhanced by a new tool in version 2020. Assemble documents. Assemble documents makes it very easy for you to combine a number of PDF files to one PDF. You can add and remove pages and change their order. You can insert blank pages automatically. Separator sheets and comments can be added for Prenec digital printing. These are saved as internal data in the PDF file and can be seen only in digital printing. The new tool is somewhat like assemble pages, especially the area for original files and favorites. The preview shows you which pages the new documents will have. Each file is a chapter in this process. All the files in the documents are listed in the table. This is where you can define many settings like for example, inserting separator sheets. In the control panel, you can change the order of the chapters, load and save templates, as well as create the new PDF. In this video, I want to make you more familiar with these functions, taking a book as an example. First of all, we have to import the files to assemble documents. In this case, we've opened three chapters of the book in Adobe Acrobat. We are now going to start assembled documents using plugins. Chapter 1 PDF is automatically in the table and in the preview pane because it was displayed in Acrobat during the start. We find all the other files in the opened files folder. We add them with the green plus button. We can also add files directly or drag them from the storage folder to the table as we are now doing here with the title page. Finally, we have a file with images from which we want to place only a few single pages. We click the plus sign to add them to the open files. Now we mark the page that is to be inserted after chapter 1 PDF and use the green plus button. This image is to come after the second chapter. To add several pages at one go, keep the control key pressed when selecting the pages. You can remove a chapter with delete. To delete specific pages from a chapter, we right click the page and select remove. Holding down the control key, we can also mark several pages at the same time. The select command removes all pages that are not marked. When we right-click the name of the file, we can reverse the order of the pages, rotate the pages, or reset all changes made to the chapter. We can also insert a blank page after the last page of each chapter. Using the table, we can even add any number of blank pages by entering the value into the column. In the table, you can also enter the pages that should go to the preview. You can separate single pages with a comma and page ranges with a minus. If we select No in the double-sided column, a blank page is inserted after every page. In even, we can set that a blank page is added automatically if there is an odd number of pages in the chapter. Assemble Documents provides you with more functions for working with Prenec digital printing. You can add inserts and index sheets by using the table. An index sheet can have comments. To do this, we click the column and add the text. In Assemble Documents, this text displays as a tooltip. Remember, these functions work only in Prenec Digital Printing. We can save the view we now have as a template. The next time we start Assemble Documents, we can invoke it again 
with this list box. When we have finished all our settings, we create the new PDF file by clicking this button. We give the file a name and click Save. As you can see, all the pages were combined to one document.